Aquarius, welcome back to my channel. We're going to be doing a weekly reading for the week of the 19th through the 25th. And we're going to be taking a look at some of the energies that will be playing out for you this upcoming week. This reading may or may not resonate with everyone, so please go check your Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs to make sure you're getting all of the messages that pertain to you. Also, I do have a playlist, so please go check out those videos. There is something there for you, and especially if you go off of uh, one of those four other signs, um, you should definitely go check out the videos that are on my playlist. Okay? Um, what else? We're going to be doing a Celtic cross spread. Um, it's going to take some time, so uh, just get comfortable, grab some water, uh, grab a drink, grab some snacks, and let's get started. Okay, Spirit, what do we have for Aquarius for this upcoming week? Your main... Um, Approach to a situation or what represents you is justice. Okay. What's crossing you is judgment. In the present, we have the Knight of Wands. That was weird. I thought it was a card that came out. Okay. In your unconscious desires, we have the Seven of Cups. The recent past is the world. In the near future, we have the Hangman in reverse. within you, temperance. What's surrounding you, the three of swords, hopes and fears, the eight of swords, and in the outcome we have the five of wands. Okay, Aquarius, so in this upcoming week, you could be dealing with a court case. Um, justice talks about, you know, either um, something going on in the courts or you know, something that needs, something that needs to be righted. Oh, how should I say that? Righting the wrongs. Okay. Um, that's, that could be in the court or it could be in your life with someone and with a person. Um, or it could just be that you are looking for balance in your life. Okay, put it how it resonates for you. What's crossing you is judgment. And the judgment card talks about um, something that's emerging. So something could be emerging from whatever this is regarding um, possible balance, uh, maybe with a court case, if not a court case, as I said, it could just be balance in your life. There could be some positive news coming that um, allows you to bring in some of that balance. Okay, um, and you know, really, the judgment card can just really talk about learning lessons, um, painful lessons that can bring in change. Okay, in your present moment, we have the Knight of Wands. The Knight of Wands is someone who is uh, uh, an individual or an energy that comes in quick, takes action very swiftly, um, someone who is. And they take initiative, okay? So this is this could be a person, um, Aries, Leo, or Sagittarius individual. Um, Justice, you could be dealing with a Libra, okay? Um, so you could be dealing, like I said, with someone who's very fiery, um, someone who takes initiative, moves for, uh, forward with passion, uh, moves quickly, okay? Um, in your unconscious desires here, um, we have the Seven of Swords. I'm sorry, Seven of, of Cups, sorry. Seven of Cups, you could be confused, you could be maybe having lots of options, 
if this could be in love, this could be in work, but the Seven of Cups talks about having options. It talks about being able to um, have the abundance of choosing from several different things, okay? In your recent past, we have the world. The world is working our way through hardships. Um, it is creating a new cycle coming out of something that has brought you into success, fulfillment, and freedom. In the near future, we have the hanged man in reverse. This could talk about maybe having a difficult time finding a new perspective on something, okay? Um, maybe, maybe having even clarity though through um, working your way through a situation, okay? Um, although, you know, clarity does require you to have um, a clear mind, you could still be um, working on creating a new perspective or a new pattern within your thoughts, within your uh, conscious actions on how you're going to move forward with anything, okay? Temperance. The Temperance card is, this is what's within you. And this is the card of Sagittarius. This is feeling centered. You could be feeling very um, protecting, maybe, a, for, you know, on behalf of someone else, maybe protecting yourself as well. Um, but this can also talk about ending a cycle. So you have this one here, you're kind of uh, moving into a new cycle and working your way through hardships, but you also have the Temperance card, which, which also talks about cycles. Okay, it can talk about adjusting to circumstances and moving into something um, that's going to allow you to recognize what is inevitable in all things. Okay, um, here with the Three of Swords, um, this is what's surrounding you. There could be some heartbreak that may have occurred. Um, this can also talk about creativity as well. We will clarify. Okay. Um, what your hopes and fears are. So you may be trying to attain something. And with the Eight of Swords, this talks about um, feeling like you cannot attain what you want. Maybe you are, uh, maybe you have a goal, maybe you um, are working towards something that you feel might be a little overwhelming to accomplish or maybe impossible to accomplish. And this card is really just saying that you, all you have to do is take the blindfold off, work your way through some of the difficult thoughts um, that are going through your mind about this situation and you will be able to attain it. So your hopes is really that you're going to attain what you're looking to attain and your fears are um, that you may not be able to get past um, the mental blockages that are stopping you. Okay, so we have in the outcome in the distant future, we have the five of wands, sorry, the five of, yes, five of wands. Battle, there's a battle here. So there might be some disagreements, some arguments with people, maybe some uh, spats about, um, you know, whatever is going on here. Um, and we'll take a look and see why there is going to be some um, disagreements. So I'm going to use the Light Sears Tarot to clarify this reading. I'm just going to do a couple shuffles here before we get started. If this reading uh, so far has resonated uh, even just a little bit, this message today might be for you. So please make sure to um, hit the like button because that really um, supports me, helps me grow my channel. And if you haven't done so already, please subscribe to my channel, okay? Um, that definitely helps me grow and shows me that you um, like to see the videos that I post, okay? All right, let's go ahead and get into the reading. I want to see what this justice with this judgment card is here. Spirit, what is this? Too many, too many. If those were meant to come out, they will come out again the second time around. Okay, so we have... Three of Cups, <laughs> okay, oh, no, that's still too many, <laughs> sorry, let's try it again. <laughs> I 
because now they're like, oh, you didn't want them? Now you're not getting anything. <laughs> okay, here we go. The Magician. One more, please. Thank you. And the Emperor. Okay, so with these cards here, the Three of Cups is talking about possible um, celebration. You may have accomplished something this, or will be accomplishing something this upcoming week that's going to call for celebration. As I said, if you are dealing with the courts, you will be coming out victorious, and there will be something that emerges from this, a lesson that will allow you to um, learn something from the experience. And this will possibly call for celebration. Now, whatever this was, you've manifested this for yourself, okay? As you know, we all have to take accountability for the things that we do. So, whatever this is, you have manifested that. So, you have to take that accountability, and you will be with the Emperor. The Emperor is taking the lead, showing that um, you are um, definitely in your power, and um, you are definitely going to be um, either coming up coming out of this very, not just victorious, but also very knowledgeable, okay? Um, this this is going to be different for everybody. Just know that um, this was inevitable. It's something that had to happen in order to um, bring you into something that is going to help you um, to learn a lesson, okay? So again, if this was a court case, if this is really just bringing in balance due to um, an awakening that you're going through. This could definitely be um, talking about coming through an awakening process um, and really you have manifested um, and taken the initiative on moving towards um, this um, possible awakening, okay? Um, now when I say awakening, I mean a new awareness about something. Something has come to light, something um, has surfaced that has allowed you to bring in this balance. Um, again, it's going to be different for everybody, but it looks like with you coming across as um, having the Emperor and the Magician card together, that's a very powerful energy of um, really honing in on your power and um, celebrating that. So that's beautiful. Uh, let's go ahead and see what your present moment is and this is what you think you want okay in the present we have a knight of wands aries leo sagittarius and this could be an individual we have the queen of swords Okay, so you may want to bring in some healing um, with communication, um, maybe talking with someone, possibly the, either the, an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius. Um, there may have been some difficult things going on in this possible relationship here, okay? Um, if you're dealing with someone in, in those signs, and you could be dealing with an Aquarius, but I do feel this is your reading Aquarius, so this healing is about you, okay? Now there could also be someone else involved in the conversation um, but I do just feel that the Queen of Swords is really talking about cutting out the BS you could be um, cutting out the BS with this individual here okay if maybe there was some healing that need to have needed to happen because we do have um, the three of swords here this is talking about heartache and we do have the five of wands talking about conflict so if you're dealing with someone Aries Leo Sagittarius um, possibly Gemini Libra um, there could definitely be some healing coming in some communication that needs to happen that uh, might open up some of the uh, doors and it could happen it could have something to do with this awareness maybe some clarity that comes through um, that will allow for you to celebrate a an achievement or um, something that you have become aware of on your own okay on your own you have done the work to heal okay so we have um, this is what you think you want which is you know of course who wouldn't want healing but what you really want is there's this seven of cups here you could be 
wanting to come out of confusion. It could be what this balance is. Wanting to come out of maybe some confusion that you had with this Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, maybe Libra or Gemini. Um, and you could be wanting some clarification on um, what this illusion is. There could be some illusion here. Let's take a look at this. Okay, Ten of Swords. And the Ten of Wands. Wow. Okay. So the Seven of Cups is talking about illusion. This is definitely coming to an end. You have gone through some possible heartache or um, difficult um, situations with an individual that may have left you confused. Okay. So I'm going to put this behind here and look at the Ten of Swords here is about endings. The Ten of Wands, again, it's a ten. Both are tens. So these are both cards of ending something and moving into something new. So there is going to be an end to this confusion, whatever it is here. Um, and I do feel that, you know, obviously with the tens, the completion is um, followed up by a new beginning, something new, right? Um, so I do definitely feel here very strongly that you want to end something okay you want to be done with all of the overwhelming situations that you've gone through overwhelming backstabbing that you've felt from people um, long-term um, commitment to something or our dedication to something that may have been just it may have felt like forever to get past whatever this is but it is definitely coming to an end and you will not be feeling confused any longer okay um, and that's really what you want. So you may you may think you want the healing, which is, it is good, right? It is good to um, go through the healing process, cut out the BS, and, you know, maybe try to work things through with this person. But it looks like what you really want is to just end the pain, okay? End the um, burden, okay? In the recent past, let's look at the world card. I don't want to spend too long in the past because I, I just feel that the past needs to be in the past. But I do want to get a, a little bit of a glimpse of what happened in the past for you, Aquarius. These cards are feeling really weird. I'm getting just a really weird vibe from shuffling. Oh, those two cards just flew out. <laughs> All right, yeah, okay, so we have the Seven of Swords and the Five of Wands. So now we have the Five of Wands out here twice, okay? So in the past, you have definitely felt that there was some conflict with maybe someone who might have been shady. Now the World card talks about working your way through hardships, as I said in the beginning, okay? So you may have had to work through some hardship with an individual with them being a little shady, okay? Now, the Knight of Wands can definitely come across as someone who is non-committal, someone who wants to just come in and out of your life, maybe not always 100% transparent. Um, and so although maybe this person may have um, experienced that or caused an experience for you, I should say, it's caused a lot of conflict for you in the past, okay? This uh, non-committal, possibly in and out energy has really created some problems and um, so that was, you know, I, again, I don't want to spend too much time in the past, but that's um, really what I see. And again, uh, we're getting the Three of Swords again on the bottom of the deck. So there was some heartbreak here for sure. Um, what I do want to look at is um, why you're having a hard time gaining a new perspective. Um, even if balance does come in for you and a um, an awakening or something emerges from this lesson that you've learned with this individual. Let's see what uh, is going to uh, happen here in the near future. Okay, so we have the Six of Pentacles. And the Four of Pentacles. Okay, so you might be focusing on your money. Okay, the Sun. Okay, Page of Cups and the Sun. 
you may be focusing um, on your money right now um, and maybe having a hard time gaining a new perspective on a new love but you do have the Sun here and the Sun really is about happiness so there might be somebody new coming in here I do feel that there might be somebody new maybe a cancer Pisces or a Scorpio individual but right now I think right now you are just focused on making your money um, working and um, really bringing in some of that um, balanced energy that you may need right now in order for you to get past some of the heartache that you felt um, due to this individual coming in and out of your life okay um, and the confusion too. this this with the seven of cups this is um, lots of confusion maybe not sure maybe this person just keeps you wondering keeps you um, stressed or keeps you um, on a, on a on a leash kind of thing you know or on a tightrope some that's kind of I'm seeing a tightrope um, so let's see you know as with the Sun card I mean this is the most beautiful card in the deck so this is really talking about happiness um, a new life okay and you do have the page of cups alongside that this is really saying that there could be somebody new a new fresh start in love with somebody else okay could be very very fresh you might um, even know that you like somebody right now and maybe you're just um, at the very early stages of possibly starting something new with uh, this individual and it could be different from the person who has broken your heart okay so let's see what this temperance card is what is temperance here why is temperance here okay we got the queen of swords four of swords so you definitely have um, taken the time to realize okay you have recognized I should say the inevitability of things which allows you to take the necessary steps to cutting out what is not necessary in your life and that's what you are feeling you're ready to cut out all the BS okay you're taking some time to really think about how you're going to do that um, I really feel this card talks to me about retreating and as you can see there's a heart right there so her hearts kind of just laying there and she's kind of just you know leaving it outside of her um, just to kind of um, contemplate or meditate on how she's going to heal her heart okay because I really feel that whatever happened here broke your heart okay and you're really needing some time to um, to think about things to recognize that it was inevitable you had to learn a lesson here okay with the judgment card you had to learn a lesson it was something that had to happen so you are recognizing that you're going within and you know this you know what's happening here okay but around you you're you still may be feeling a little heartbroken we do have the three of swords let's check out what this is about here this is your surroundings the people who are around you um, your home life you could still be with this individual yeah and then again this is the third time this is confirmation there is some heartbreak here and then we have the tower so we have with the three of swords the three of swords tower something is definitely coming in for you Aquarius there is a big change and a shift that's coming um, for you or is currently in your life you could be heartbroken currently and maybe there is going to bring a change that brings in new love to help heal this very broken heart okay you have definitely been uh, wounded by somebody this is really really a uh, tough energy because you are even though you've been very very heartbroken you're done with this you can't take the burden anymore and you don't want to even talk about it anymore you're done with it so again as I said with this page of cups there could be something new that's gonna come in to make you very happy and bring you in some happiness okay because you deserve it Aquarius okay um, so this tower card is really saying that there could be an abrupt 
change coming through for you that it may seem a little um, difficult at first. Um, it, this could be anything. It could be even uh, you moving to a new location. You know, sometimes moving can be hard. Um, it could even be um, maybe some communication that comes through or even um, an encounter with someone that just really brings down the house. It could bring in some struggle, some conflict, um, and, and delays or disruption, but it's definitely going to um, bring in the clarity that you need in order for you to possibly move into a new direction, okay? Getting past some of the heartache, some of the backstabbing, some of the very overwhelming experiences you've had, okay? Let's look at your hopes and fears. So again, the confusion. We don't want any more confusion, okay? The Empress and the Nine of Wands. Yeah, we don't want any more confusion, right? We want to be able to grow and nurture what we've worked very hard for. That's exactly what this energy is here for you, Aquarius. You do not want the confusion that has been you have been burdened with for so long. Whatever this confusion is for you, it could it could have been that this person had a lot of options, okay? And they could have been in and out of your life. They could have been choosing other people over you, okay? And you really want to um, grow into whatever you work so hard for, whatever you, maybe um, there is a project that you're working on or something and you want to focus on that. Maybe grow something that um, has been more of a stable foundation in your life, okay? Um, Again, I don't feel that this is a relationship. I do feel that this is something else in your life that you have worked very hard for. Um, you're almost there. You're almost um, to the point where you can um, begin something that is going to um, come out and, how do I say it? Um, whatever this is, um, it's going to bring you what you want, okay? It's going to bring you the new beginning that you want. It's going to bring you in the finances that you're looking for. As I said at the beginning, they're... Um, there is going to be, um, so you're going to be focused on your money, okay? So that's what this could be. This could be that you're trying to grow your money, you're trying to grow your business, you're trying to come out of the confusion that you were left in. And you're, um, with this Eight of Swords, you might be feeling like it's going to be difficult, okay? You might be feeling like it's just going to be really, really tough to get past and attain some of the things that you want to attain in your life that are related to whatever this um, opportunity or this growth is with whatever this project is or whatever this is here, okay? It is going to bring you in the money that you're looking for. It's going to bring you in happiness, and it could even bring in new love. If this is in the workplace, you might be meeting someone in the workplace, okay? Um, doesn't have to be, but, um, you know, that's a possibility. Now, our last card here in the outcome is the Five of Wands, and we do have that on the table twice here. So let's see what this outcome is with the Five of Wands. Spirit, what is this Five of Wands here in the outcome? Okay, we have the Page of Swords. Okay. You may be having some difficulties with people online. Um, you could be dealing with a Gemini. Um, or if this is not the case, this is maybe communication online. There might be some difficult communication or um, not even communication, just battles in general or, or problems with something online. Um, that this has to, it's bringing in some conflict. It's bringing in a little bit of nervous energy. Maybe... Um, some possible misunderstandings maybe, but I do see that um, there is someone here that could be either watching you on social media. Um, if that's not the case, this is communication, that's new communication that's coming in um, that might bring you in a little bit of, um, un you might be uncomfortable with this, okay, with this communication. Um, it could be with people you know, um, it could be with anyone, really. Um, but I do feel here that there is something that uh, might upset you. 
um, it might uh, make you feel uh, uneasy. Okay, this could be online communication. Doesn't have to be, it could be someone giving you a call. It could even be this person maybe even reaching out to you again and confusing you even more. And it's probably gonna create some internal battles um, that will go back to some of um, what we were talking about here with this heartbreak. Um, yeah, there's a lot, there's a lot that you've gone through here, but now this could even be the tower moment coming through, um, creating that, um, change. If something, maybe even someone else is trying to reach out to you that brings in some change, but I do feel there is communication that's going to uh, make you feel a little bit uneasy, maybe with, um, internal, um, uncomfort. Okay. Maybe some battles within yourself as to how you're going to, uh, work through whatever this communication is. Okay. However, um, I do have, with the sun card here, it's beautiful. It looks like, you know, you are going to possibly have an opportunity with someone new, maybe in the workplace. Um, I do feel that you are working really hard on, uh, your money. You might be having a difficult time, um, with the perspective, gaining a new perspective on, on work, on, um, your career, maybe how you want to move into, um, you know, or what you're doing right now, like what kind of work you're in, something like that. Okay. But you could meet somebody new in the workplace. Um, so I do feel that there is going to be some balance coming in, whether this is related to a court case, or if this is just you, um, learning some lessons from this, uh, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, it looks like you definitely are thinking about moving into this healing process if you haven't done so already, but you are definitely ending the confusion. Um, you're moving on to something new. Um, you will be, um, taking some time out to, uh, really contemplate how you're going to, uh, move into this new direction. And it's going to be something that, uh, you know, you can grow with. It's, I think it's going to be career related or work related. Um, it's going to help you stay out of the confusion. It's going to help you with some of the experience, um, from the past, maybe some, you know, like I said, some heartbreak that ha happened with uh, an individual. And, um, I think that you're going to work on, um, these endeavors to help you, you know, get past some of, some of the difficult times you've gone through. So I'm going to go ahead and leave it here. Aquarius, thank you for being here. If this resonated with you, please like, uh, the video, um, subscribe to my channel so that you can, uh, show your support. Okay. And also don't forget to hit the notification bell because that will be able to uh, let you know when I post new videos. Okay. All right, guys, I'll leave it here until next time. Namaste.